Hey everyone, Soundwave884 coming to another Transformers Authentics review. And this review, take a look at Barricade. He is the evil Decepticon police car from Transformers. This is the Transformers you can find at like Family Dollar and Dollar Journal and stuff. This is the $5 price point. It's pretty much like a Legends kind of scale right here. Uh, this is the packaging you get. It shows alt mode down here. Decent artwork up top. Turn it around. Seven steps get you all the way around. Inside, you'll, he does come with uh, instructions. All right, and here is the figure of Barricade. Now, for a $5 Transformer you find at Dollar General or Family Dollar, uh, it's a decent-looking character. And I'd say probably one of the better ones at this price point now i just reviewed the five dollar version of ratchet about a week or so ago and while it's decent in overall feel it's just got lots of problems with things tabbing uh, of course a lot of stuff not really you know painted details are sort of lacking in vehicle mode and robot mode is very very bulky and you have the old optimus prime megatron star screen uh you know th these are very very basic I think they kind of stepped at their game when they're trying to move on to the Ratchet. Especially here to Barricade. I think he has a lot of improvements in certain areas. And there's other areas that are just plain scary on this figure when you're messing with it. Overall looks of the details on the figure. I love the little head sculpt here. The yellow eyes are actually painted very well. He's got some silver paint here on the sides to accentuate where his mouth would be. It's right here in the blue little battle mask part. Septicon logo right there on his chest. You got the pole and the ice right here. They form his police uh, sayings when he's in his police car mode. Uh, the little hood. Very, very G1 basic. Like a, a Dotson, like Prowl and stuff. And he does have that resemblance with the front of the car and the arms and everything. Right there. Uh, just plain gray plastic. There's not really that much paint. Right here, the face, sides, and then the chest. Everything else is just, you know, blue plastic, gray plastic, black plastic right there now when transforming this figure if you guys figure everybody's seen the kingdom tracks now he'll have a problem with the feet because they're not really attached to the leg here they're actually attached to like a side panel and that is exactly how this guy is so i'm pretty sure their legs are going to transform very very similar but this guy has his little flaps that can fold down to sort of hide the gaps where you see kingdom tracks people have a complaint because it doesn't really hide it you know this is kind of sloped because it's the you know, part of the car from the car and this right here is the rear of the vehicle so the way this transforms is this just folds up and around so that's going to how tracks is going to probably do and his feet are probably going to slide underneath the roof of the car i haven't watched the review yes i think there's a review out from somebody i'm not going to mention so i do like the the flap idea here to help hide that gap because his gap is very very big but with the ball joint here on the sides it does give him a lot more uh ankle movement we'll look at that in a minute over other details, I mean, he's sculpted with the car mode. There's not too much more going on here in bot mode back. I mean, he fills out very well. Really, only hollow bits or you no, know, just normal stuff you're going to find on Transformers, especially at this price point here in the arms and just the gaps down there. All right, so articulation. He actually has elbows to bend a little bit more than 90 degrees. So that's nice. Head can turn. Uh, you can get a 360 out of this all the way around. No waste, though. That's a... Uh, something you're not really going to expect from these guys anyway he's got a swivel here at the knee and you can bend the knees this back piece keeps wanting to come down uh so you can get a decent movement and of course it's got that other independent part so you can go even further if you wanted to right there hips go out to the sides uh not very far it just sort of hits right there you can kick forward uh back you're not gonna go as far it hits right up there in the joint also the backpack here now with the feet, got the ball jointed here, so you get some ankle tilts, and then you can of course move them front and back for like a little toe rock and stuff. So that's that's pretty cool. Shoulders on this little hinge, so you can kind of move them up and down to get a little more expressive movements. And also you can get a all the way around uh, movement here with the ball joint. This part here will hit coming around, so you just kind of gotta finesse it when you come back around. So that's really your articulation in the figure. It's not too much, but it's a pretty good amount for a little $5 figure from Dollar General. All right, let's do some size comparisons. Here is next to War for Cybertron Netflix Bumblebee. That kind of fits right there in your scale. Of course, this Bumblebee, you get a lot more articulation, a little more quality than you get out of this barricade. Next to the $5 price point, Optimus Prime. 
Problem is it's slightly bigger than Barricade, but Barricade puts this problem to shame with all the articulation that he's been given. All right, so let's transform this Barricade into his police car mode. Very simple. Uh, I do want to say real quick before I do that, this backpack piece here on this hinge will move on you very easily, and it's probably the biggest annoyance in robot mode because you're just going to be knocking that around, moving it constantly when you're doing so. Now, to transform barricade, we just want to straighten the arms out. And then you're going to fold these flaps up onto his shins. And you're going to move his arms down. As you do so, you can bring this up like this. And this is going to be another complaint I'll get to in a little bit. So this thing has already moved from the hood of the car here. We're going to slide his arms up and under like this. And you're going to take his legs and you're going to rotate the side panel pieces, the feet, bring them up. You're going to stuff them under the hood of the vehicle here. So I just want to rotate those with it. And it's just going to roll in there like that. And you just want to line that back into the vehicle mode up and how that all just tucks underneath. So do the same on the other one. Like this. Just bring that down. And get the vehicle mode. And now you can sort of tab the arms in. This right here is going to come back. There's two tabs here. It's going to go right in some slots in here. And there's tabs on the back of the vehicle here. You want to tab that together. These tabs don't hold worth shit. These tabs here will help. Uh, for part of my furniture. Lock that in a little bit better. This kind of locks right behind here. Just make sure that you get the arms up. Like that. And this part here is just going to collapse in. If you can see inside, um, it's kind of a bit harder. You can move arms out. There's this little ball, like a the little piece that goes through that keeps this in. It has to go through these little you know, grooves and it locks. It's very thin plastic. So when you're pushing it in, and especially when you want to transform it back to remote mode and you want to pull it back out, it just feels like you're going to break this front end of the car off and or just rip it straight out of it. It feels very cheap and it's very scary. This is the scary part of transforming this car. Two vehicle mode, not so bad. Pulling this back out to get the road mode, this feels like you're going to tear it up. And there you go. You have transformed this barricade into its uh, evil Decepticon police car. It's got very, very cheap wheels. Uh, one of them actually was stuck. I had to finesse it to make it move. This one really rolls very well. Very well. Can't talk. Sorry, I've been sick. Roll this sucker. It rolls good now. Mickle mode. Just zooming. Look at him go. And then, as I was fiddling this guy on the first bottom, I was like, it's not that bad in police car mode. Until I turned to the side and realized they just totally forgot to put the pole on the ice part on the side. So that really, really irritates me. It's like, what the hell? How do you miss this? They need to train those little kids in the factories a lot better. Make my Transformers the way I want them to be made. This is pretty, pretty bad. That's a big overlook right there. How, how do you miss that? This slips right through quality control, huh? Other complaint, maybe this this being entirely red paint right here. It, I don't know, it goes over the sides. I kind of wish the middle piece here was just not painted red. I just kind of, I don't like that the whole thing is painted red. But that's not a big complaint, so it's something I don't like. That's something I can easily rectify myself if I want to. But for five bucks, I'm not really going to want to. And he plays peekaboo down here in the bottom. This was like a folded up robot. Alright, so let's do some comparisons here in vehicle mode. Here he is next to the $5 price point ratchet from the exact same line. And that ratchet is humongous compared to this barricade. And just look at him this way and the way you pick him up and feel of the plastic, how much heav heftier a ratchet is. He feels worth the 5 bucks. Definitely in barricade doesn't as much. He's kind of cheap feeling. But I think overall look and detail paid to the vehicle modes. I think barricade wins out a little bit. Except we're missing the Half the word police on here. Come on. Next to Legends Class Brawn. And next to a deluxe Transformer. This is Netflix Mirage when he was impersonating being a Decepticon. Alright, so final thoughts on this barricade. It's a decent $5 Transformer. Especially for some of the articulation you're going to get. A better than a lot of the previous ones at this price point from the Transformers Authentics line. Uh, 5 bucks. Yeah, it's, it's a good one. Especially for kids. Pick it up. Uh, the only thing I would warn you is this the transformation of the front of the vehicle back to robot mode 
can be scary because it feels like you can easily break off that front end of the car. Also, just make sure that it's got the full word police on it, I guess. But, I mean, if you're wanting it for yourself, it's not a bad little background thing. If you do stop motions or pictures or photography and you want a, some kind of cannon fodder bot, this is a cheap little thing you can throw in. It's about Legends class size. stands about the same size as Netflix uh, Bumblebee or Earthrise Cliff Jumper. And it can fit right in there. Just be a Decepticon that can be trampled by the Autobots. Well, it's decent enough for five bucks. Kind of regret picking it up just because it's missing part of the word police. All right, thanks for watching. Man, now I see it. Doesn't this like eyes? It's like light. It's Lightning McQueen as it is as a Decepticon police car. It's now it belongs in the movie cars. It's got freaking eyes on the windshield. Hey guys, you want me to flash you? Hey. All right, he's out.